YouTube channel. My name is Kelsey and today I'm going to show you guys four DIY room decors that you can do for the fall. I really hope you guys enjoy them. If you do, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So for this first DIY, you can get some wired light, a hot glue gun, some glue sticks, some felt leaves, and you're going to need some acorns and some fake leaves. And I began by stretching out the wire lights and arranging the leaves, acorns, and fake leaves just to see how I kind of wanted it. And then I began by taking the felt leaf and putting a dab of glue on the back and then placing the wire on it. And I did this with the acorn and the fake leaves until I got to the end of the wire and I continued this process until I was done. is a pumpkin, some glitter, any colors, I just picked like copper and silver, some white acrylic paint and some Mod Podge and some sponge paint brushes. So all I did was put two coats of the white acrylic paint all over the pumpkin and you can do more, I just felt like two was enough because the pumpkin was already kind of white. Once you're done with the two coats of white paint, I just began by putting the Mod Podge on the pumpkin, putting it on the bottom half, and then I started putting the silver and copper glitter on it. And there was some dry spots, so I would just grab the sponge and put more Mod Podge, and I just continued this process until I got the desired thickness of glitter on the bottom half of the pumpkin. For the third DIY, all you're going to need is a pumpkin, some sponge paint brushes, white acrylic paint, green and brown acrylic paint, and I just have a silver metallic marker that I got from Hobby Lobby. And now I'm just beginning by putting two coats of the white acrylic paint onto the pumpkin, make sure I cover it into an even coat. Now I'm taking the brown paint and just stippling it on to the stem of the pumpkin, being very careful, and adding a little bit of white just to soften it up and just making it look more like a real stem and grabbing a little bit of green and sponging it on to the stem. And now I'm just beginning by taking a little bit of the brown white paint and putting it into the crease of the pumpkin just to add definition to the pumpkin. And I just took a little bit of the white paint and went on top of the brown just to give it um, a more blended look so it's not so harsh. I'm just taking the metallic marker and writing Hello Fall on it. I think this came out super cute. For this last DIY, you're going to need half a yard of white fabric, any type of leaf to put paint on to make a print, a sponge paintbrush, and some metallic paint, any color that you choose. You're also going to need some glue sticks, some scissors, and a glue gun. You can sew it if you want to, but I just found the glue gun was a lot easier, so I began by folding up the fabric in half and then cutting along the fold that I created and I took off the top half and you're just going to begin by gluing the edging of the fabric and make sure that if you do use like a print that the print is in the inside because you are going to turn the fabric inside out later and you're, you don't want the print to be in the inside. I just continue to hot glue the edges and make sure to leave a hole at the end. So with the hole, I began to inside out the fabric and just be slow because 
because of the hot glue and it rips open very easily if you're not careful. So I just began by taking a piece of paper and stuffing it into the hole just so that when I put the paint on it, it doesn't transfer to the back side. I used four pieces of paper making sure that they were flat in there. So I tried to use the leaf that I had in the beginning, but it ended up not coming out exactly how I wanted it to, so I ended up grabbing the felt leaf that I used for the garland. So with the felt leaf, I put paint on one side and just started to stamp on the print. I kind of liked like that it wasn't fully painted, it was kind of blotchy looking. I thought it came out very nice, so I continued this process until I got the desired amount of leaves that I wanted on the front of the pillowcase. And if you want to use like different felt leaves, I think that would be really nice. I just had this green one left over, so luckily I was able to use it. And I kind of put the edging just like half a leaf. I felt like that made it look almost look like it was like the fabric and it was sewed on together. So once I let it dry, I began to stuff with the hole that we left. And I didn't go out and buy stuffing. I just found a pillow that was in my house that I didn't really like. So I cut it open and stole the stuffing from there to fill this pillow. And then with the hot glue gun, I folded the edges of the fabric so it looked like the rest, and I began to hot glue the edges. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave a comment saying something that you really like about fall. I really had a lot of fun filming this, and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye!